Welcome everybody, we're doing Witch Hunt, my second run of it. Uh, you'll notice here this one is updated, right over here, so we're going to start from scratch again. Yes, alright, and we have already read this about this person is a evil fighter, that's what they do for a living. Um, so something big attacked him on his way to Belleville. Now, interesting enough, it reminds me a bit of the Legend of the Bell Witch. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. So we're going to let this load for a minute here. It seems like it needs to load a little. Now, apparently, the developer has left two versions available. This new one, which apparently changes the way what he calls Darkness Sense is done. So, I figure we'll probably need to relearn how to use it, and therefore a new game is probably a great idea to start. Um, again, I really like his sense of lighting here. The fog, the owls, you can see the ravens up there. Um, yeah, the character models are not AAA title, but you know, for one person doing a game, Oh, and he added knocking now. I, I do like that. I see, uh... I see some cool stuff going on here that I actually really enjoy about this game. And I gave it a pretty good review last time, and that hasn't changed. I still think that the game has a lot going on for it in terms of atmosphere alone. I'm somebody that... I don't get scared easily. Uh, this game genuinely creeped me out a bit and gave me the willies, so I'm not afraid to say that. Uh, there was... You might, you might not. Don't assume, sir. You know, like, he could probably have a little better work done, that guy. Um, Silver Bullets pack. I have 50 coins, one lock pick. Uh, now I believe I need to look around here. This is what I want to get as fast as I can. But one thing that I do like is that your skills in this are basically a uh, thing you learn from books. So that's kind of cool. Um, instead of every other game and how they've done it, he's kind of taken it upon himself to do this his own way, and I do dig that. Now, I'm trying to remember, I think Tab, yeah, Tab is it. So this is Evil Sight. Uh, place Crucifix. Alright. So every ten creatures I kill. Oh, apparently I... do I just... do I get one? So this is my Silver Saber. This is my, uh, Winterfield Musket. There are tips. Uh, and a journal. So, the journal tells us nothing we don't already know. We're gonna look around here and see if I can grab some free stuff. I don't know if I can or not, but we're going to try to at least see if I can grab a little free loot from somewhere. See if I can get anything, anything free uh, from the loots around this, this game or this slow area here. If not, it's fine, but if so, then I'm definitely going to try to at least. I think it's locked. Looks like these people are afraid of something at night. Which, if you've followed the game at all, then obviously they freaking should be, because that shit's been going down. Okay, so... Uh, I want to say in an earlier, like, uh, version that I saw of this, there was some sort of, uh... You know what? I'm gonna have a crush here. We need to get over here. We're gonna have a quick look before we go talk to that fellow. This is the Bible. I know this book by heart. It's better than me. I read the book 35 times. I still You're probably get parts of it, actually. Ludwig. Unfortunately, he got killed by that horrible beast. The beast. That's why I'm looking after the church. The beast. I can provide medical help if you need it. 
if you all know uh, the movie, what we do in the shadows, then you'll, you'll get that joke. If not, then what are you doing? Go see that movie. Not right now. You finish watching the Let's Play, but and subscribe, then go see the movie. Um, it's worth renting, trust me, it's funny. It's actually worth buying, I recommend you buy it, not rent it. Um, seriously, it is that funny. So that is where we will begin our mission, by the way, down there. But I'm just having a little look-see around before I go there. Um, I feel like he's done a little lighting work on this, it looks like. Even from the last update, the lighting feels a little smoother. And that bare rug, the fur on that looks a little shinier. Maybe it's oh, my imagination, so. maybe it's not. Oh, now this is the As mayor. the mayor of Belleville, I can guarantee that if you'll really be able to help our town, oh, I will. your doings will be greatly rewarded, and you'll have our eternal gratitude. Good. To get to the woods, go across River Bridge. Good. Be careful. People have seen some undead creatures in those woods. So we are dealing with something much more sinister than just a wild beast. Mm -hmm. Good luck, and God bless you. God bless us all. Okay. I just felt like that was coming next, so I just wanted to toss that out there. Okay, so this is locked from that side. Can we just jump on his... Can we just jump over here? No. I'm basically, I'm not going to lie to you all, I'm basically just trying to finagle whatever I can for free out of the, the town's <laughs> Before I go become a hero, we're basically trying to rob the shit out of these people and just take whatever we can. It's, look, it's not the most heroic thing, alright? But, look, it is what it is, man. I'm just... We're just trying to... Ooh, that's a little creepy. I don't recall that being there last time, but I don't know if I looked in there last time. There's a healing plant there. I think he's changed this. I don't think one of those was there last time. Uh, maybe it was. Can anybody confirm or deny that, maybe? Do you own Witch Hunt and maybe you want to drop some pointers in the comments? Do you feel free? What am I doing wrong? I'm sure you all would love to tell me. Uh, like I said, we've already had one guy tell me that my voice behind the mask sucks, so apparently that is a thing. My, my mask voice sucks. I don't know if I should blame the mask or my voice. I don't know how you... What do we do there to optimize that, people? What do I do? Obviously getting a new voice is out of the question, or believe me, I wouldn't have landed on this one. I sound like Kermit the Frog on crack. Alright, so, let's see here, we got this, we got that there, I don't want to unlock that yet, because up ahead, this is another house, I want to say there's another house somewhere in the woods, isn't there? Or I can let the dog go, and I think I want to let the dog go, if I can. I'm going to not mess with this house much else. We got our little glow light thingy from it. We got our... Or glow stick from it. Uh, I want to say, I swear to you, that somebody I saw in another video, man, somebody like jumped up on a house or did something. They jumped up on something and got on top of it, and there was like an extra lock pick or something. So we're gonna mosey on one last time down, and I know this is probably gonna drive y'all nuts because you're like, just pull up from there. But, wow, we will watch. Okay, that didn't do that last time, so that's a save spot. Now I know. I can unlock that and take some things for coins. Um, what do we do, guys? Do that, or do we just try kicking some ass and then coming back and getting coins. I think we're going to try kicking some ass on monsters. This is a monster hunting game after all. We need to kill us the monsties, so maybe we'll try and go out in the woods first. Kill the monsters, oh god. And then do all that. Um, Alright. I like cannot get up there. I'm, I'm trying to jump. I'm trying to wiggle. I'm trying to jiggle and wiggle. 
shake and bake. Do the ninja. Nothing's working. Alright. Well, screw it. With nothing more in hand but our ingenuity. Oh yeah, I should draw weapons down. Now that, I think I commented before, I actually liked that part about this game because I feel like in real life you're not going to be walking around town with the gun out, so. And I'm not kidding you, the dog on my lap literally just jumped, so. That should tell you that it's sort of spooky sounding. I'm also going to say this about this game. This area here, is this the witch house that I've been to? Somebody called this the witch house. So, and so that this was a good spot to pick. So maybe that's where I need to go. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to go in the witch house. You mother. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Alright, let's go get our ass kicked by Master. <laughs> we're going to try and be sneaky stealthy. We're going to get to some monsters and then go back to town. Okay, so now it's when a monster is in with 500 meters, you can sense its presence. I don't, uh, I don't, it doesn't use man, it works in another way. So, that's good to know. We get one cell across the place down for free. Radio. I would like it. Pick these MFs up. What is this? This this one. Now somebody told me basically that the lesser ones, the uh, spooky dookies, you want to take out with your blade, and leave the scarier ones, the big ones, to. Uh, oh, I like that. I don't recall that thing in the last playthrough, was it, guys? There's some icons going on, Ellen. Uh, they're very well drawn, actually, so I like that. But I do not want any noise going on, so we're gonna kill the walking dead up here. Oh, God. You asshole. That actually made me jump. Just with ingenuity. We're gonna save the game. I don't know why I saved the game after I've lost a bit of health, but... Um, so if I wanted to, I could run back to town, probably, I don't know. 67 coins, and probably buy some more shit. Lockpicks you can only find, apparently. Um, I am curious to see, can we go back to town? Can we not go back to town? Do we have to wait a certain time before we go back to town? Is it like, you don't go back to town until you kill the beast? Oh, okay, okay, so no we can, alright. I just wanted to be sure. So, our markers here are the dead horse with its lovely intestines hanging out. Um, which, you know, nothing says friendly like that. So we're going to go to the left here. We're going to do a little scouting. And then we know which way we're headed. If I need to go another way, I'll go right. I'm going to try and get some mulata built up and see if we can at least get our bounty license to really put some hurt on these monsters. Don't like that noise. Don't at all. That is a creepy, creepy... I feel like that is literally just the kind of noise you expect when monsters are around. Literally like, oh, there's monsters here noise, you know. Um, speaking of which, I really want some more recommendations for some decent horror movies, guys. If you guys got any, uh, any era, doesn't matter. It can be 50s all the way through current. Um, but nothing with, like, just chairs moving and stuff. That doesn't do it for me. I, I need, um, and while I liked Insidious 1, I didn't much care for the others in the series, so not those. The Conjurings were alright. Um, Liked Wrong Turn 1, didn't like the way they changed them in Part 2, haven't seen the others, didn't care to. Yes, it sounds picky, I really don't care. Just not my thing, man. 
uh, I could care less if a movie has gore or not. If the story is good, then I dig it. I'm more about the story, so... If you know any that are like that, that are good, do let me know. Um, and I don't mind if a movie is slow. I'm fine with slow room movies. I grew up in the 80s. We had to have an attention span back then for movies, so... Just let me know your guys' favorite movies while I'm walking around here looking apparently at nothing. You might see a dog pop its head up in this video on occasion. I've got a dog on my lap right now. Our own, uh, our own dog that we uh, jokingly called Mutant Dog a few times because he is huge. He is actually a Chihuahua, but he is giant for a Chihuahua. And you see... Oh, God, no, all right. Now I know that thing is a whisper because I remember seeing that thing. So I'm going to go ahead here and... I know there's one of these things here. It's probably a bad idea to put it here. I'm going to place the crucifix here anyway. And... Oh, dick. No, leave me alone, Whisper. Whispers you can't kill. So they suck. I have no watcher totems. I was just checking, baby. Just checking. Now I'm guessing that means that I am within 500 meters of it, if I can see it. Because um, I didn't see where that mess with my mana. It seems like save right now is the only thing that plays with your mana. There is the crucifix. So I am going to try to sneak by this way. The whisper over there. I think that's a whisper that does that. One of them drains my health. I know that. I think it's a whisper. And then, uh, I'm telling you, this game is genuinely spooky. Like, the woods are huge. Look at how big these woods are compared to, for example, we'll say a game where you have to collect pages. I'm not going to name names. But in that game, there's a fence already. And you are corralled into one little area. This game feels nice and open. And it feels like there's a lot of room. Um, which is both a good and bad thing. I'm not going to lie. I feel like there's... You feel pretty exposed in this game, I think. Um... I do, actually. I feel kind of like... Oh, shit. That was a lucky slide there. You see how I did that, guys? I'm not going to lie and say I meant to do that. I did not at all mean to do that. And that bridge looks like a bridge back toward town. So, did I just go that way, maybe? I don't know. We're going to see what's up near the bridge, maybe. Against my better judgment. Everything in me right now is screaming, do not go this way. And yet I'm going this way. I'm sure there's a dog creature out there too. I thought I heard it. So there are a few different creatures. The whispers are one of them. There are dog creatures as well. As you can hear, that was a dog one back there. The wolf. The, the watchers are worse, so... So you can see him back there, the Whisperer Watcher, whatever the hell he is. So that was just a simple matter of ass whoopery, guys, right there, that I have done. We can see another creature there. Creatures are within... Oh, shit. Is on now, baby. Fuck, 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 
Where is it? I'm not gonna lie, I'm genuinely scared right now. <laughs> this is creepy. Is hell? Or is it? No, you were just here, so where are you? I need to keep the heat on this thing. I think it's up there. It doesn't look like a whisper, and he's not red. Oh my god, and that's a weird cat creature up in the sky. It drops a skill book that is indeed probably a whisper. Shit. Yeah, I mean, the creature itself is this way on the path. I've probably swore enough for all of you to enjoy this video already, but... Oh, that is so not good. My health is horrible right now, and I could be cheesy and just hang it here, but... That's what a smart gamer would do, is hang it here and hope for the best. But I actually think... Uh, no, because I believe that the whispery things travel as well. Now, if I were looking for me, and there was some sort of big-ass werewolf creature, I would want some cover on my back, so it's probably in that line there. So we are going to do the smarter thing. Oh! I need 50 man. I don't have 50 mana. Um... Okay, it's not supposed to use mana, so I think maybe he forgot that. I should have put that damn cross down here. What am I doing? This was a horrible idea. <laughs> oh, this was a horrible idea. This is so freaking creepy. They remind me of like old cannibal movies, these things do, don't they? Like what you see during, uh... I like, whenever you see, like, the movies with the backwoods people that don't speak any English, they just shout gibberish and chase people with, like, uh, kitchen knives and... Yeah. There's always some crazy fucking house. Like that. that was loud. That was a lot louder. It's definitely watching me. I feel like this thing is toying with me, I'll be honest. It could be anywhere around me. So we are listening for sound right now. What do you think, guys? It's either coming from that brush line there, or that one, I can't tell. Dude, this is so loud. He's loud. And he's very angry. The first creature is obviously a werewolf, judging by the way they talk about it. The beast. So. If I hadn't got its attention before, I'm sure I have now. I died. Ah, shit. Alright. The chances are it will load me up. Where am I? I'm still near where I can get back to the town. How much money do I have? 67, one silver crucifix, zero watcher totems. Alright. So, first thing to do, maybe, go back to town. I cannot. This game seriously spooks the shit out of you guys. And I know some of you laugh at that, but he does so much with sound. Uh, this developer does that it uh oh I am not near town am I? Hey 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 
Alright. That's good. I'll take that. I should not have shot before knowing that that was the creature. From now on, even when my heart beats, we're going to keep it on the saber until we know we have the creature 100%. Uh, so we're going to try to get the creature this time. If I don't, I don't, and there's not much else I can do about it. If I do, I do. And, uh, yay! I also probably shouldn't be standing up walking around like an idiot, but... I believe that is a whisper. I almost see shadowy looking things. Yep, yep, that's a whisper. So we want to get the F away from that thing. And quickly. Because they will, they will chase you. That hurt a bit. But at least you're away from the whisper. Can I actually injure, injure myself there? Does it count for that? No. I was gonna say, I would be fairly impressed if it accounted for things like needing a splint or, uh, you know. Um, I'm a little bummed at the lack of lockpicks in this game, though. At the start, I feel there's just way too much that needs picking. That looks like the town itself. But I don't feel like I could successfully swim that far across the channel. I feel like I would die. But we might try to head back that way and just see what happens on the water. Um, I have 77 dollars. Not the worst. Not the worst. Some creepy music going. So I'm curious to see what happens if I just follow the ridge line. And try to go and see how we do with all this. If we can make this work. Can we get back in one piece, people? Can we get back to town, save the game, spend a little money, and come back out for round two? of monster hunting. Can we do it? Alright. Does anybody else feel like uh, that's Nern Root from Skyrim? Or any of the Elder Scrolls games, I should say? Those of us, like myself, that are old enough to remember ones that existed before Skyrim, like Morrowind, greatest in the series, Daggerfall, second greatest in the series, Skyrim, I would place that third. Some people love Oblivion. Matters, I feel, love Oblivion. Um, and I've seen some of them make the game look insanely amazing. I cannot mod that game for shit compared to some of you. I don't know how you all do it. But some of you out there can mod that game to insane insane ways that I am not good at modding it, so I don't know what y'all do, but kudos, because it's impressive. There goes all my mana, but uh, maybe I can find some more stuff here, I don't know. I'm going to try to look. It updated my journal at least, so let's see what's in wrote in there. A powerful monster is in Okay. I didn't do much then. I can't unlock it. I need some lockpicks. You could give me some lockpicks, game. No. Oh, well, alright. New fast travel point is available. And, uh, oh. My goodness. That's probably not good, is it? Well. What has happened there? <gasps> a map! I have a map! Good! And lockpicks! Well, 
Oh, son of a biscuit holder. How the fuck do I need a cannonball? Okay, sorry. I would not like to say. Why is there a black goat there? <laughs> Don't let like that shit. That is super friggin' creepy, guy. Why is there... Black goat, I swear to God, I the creature. So I am where that thing is near the lake. And if I keep going, I'll go within Belleville. Um, is there anything else? I can't believe I blew through that many lockpicks. That was really stupid of me, actually. I do like those. You know, there aren't many good horror movies about... Uh... Oh! Oh, why did I do that? The creature was close. Oh, because I, I can, I guess. I don't know. Um... So the signs are fast travel. Well, we're learning some things that I did not know from last time. Uh, so that part is sort of neat. Now we are back. Okay, so I can go to the cabin or I can go to Belleville. That is pretty darn cool. So now we are getting somewhere, people. We are getting somewhere in this game. I don't know where, but somewhere. You want to talk to me again? I, ki I killed a monster. And I slapped the shit out of some crazy dog. So. P.S. You're welcome. Uh, Alright. 77 coins. One crucifix. And a cartridge. And a pear tree. We are going to open this up. Heal me. Heal me. What happened to your neck, sir? I know that's probably not polite to say to a man of the cloth. I'm just... Just spitballing it. Just throwing it out there, guys. Don't act like you didn't think it too. You thought it too. And give me that bullshit. Oh, of course I need 50 mana. Because why the F wouldn't I, right? Of course, I can't get in here either, because that shit would be useful. Alright, so, here is what we are going to do. First, let's go see what Mr. Peddler has for sale again, because I forget. Alright, compass, your position on the map. Oh, that would be good. Can't get that yet. Increases my stamina. Oh, that would be good. Okay. Now that one, I think, is a good start. A health regeneration book. And that one would be good as well, but for now, I will take what I can get. What is second chance book? Yeah, I don't know how to recover my mana, actually, guys. So, for now, we're going to do the improved regeneration. Alright, Jeeves. Chop, chop, Cheerio, and all that good stuff. Well, um, oh yeah, I can only uh, redo my mana by killing monsters, that's right. At least that's what I get out of this anyway, that's, a, that's the idea. So, way out of town. The horsery area. Still locked. That sounds cool for you. I don't like a newcomer. You know how it is. Try to get along with your neighbor. They don't want to get along. 
Uh, well, at least we finally have a map for the main place. You'd think the mayor would give you a map for the town of Belleville itself, don't, wouldn't you? If you're the mayor, that's kind of... Oh, Jesus. That's kind of your thing. You're the mayor. Now, a lot of people told me a different tip. That tip says it's better to stick to your fire arms and use a saber only as a last resort weapon, but I am telling you bullshit. And the reason I say bullshit is because... Man, monsters flock to you when they see you pull uh, that gun out and fire it. They are not happy. Should I kill this black goat? It's not really, like... Get your ass moving there, Satan. I don't trust you. Watch, now the monster will come up and be like, Rrr. You killed the black goat, my friend, Barry. I don't know why its name is Barry. Barry Gary. I, I'm, I'm just spitballing with things that sound like uh, Gary at this point, people. Well, I'm not hiding, so come and get me, pal. And okay, now we're hiding. Because I'm on a fighting chance here. Where would it be? Where do you guys think it would be? If you're watching this video right now, where do you see it? There's something over there, but I can't tell if it's a whisper or not. That looks rather shadowy, but you can see what I'm saying. It's no, that's just a tree trunk. That's the thing about this game that messes with you, is it's very good, I feel, at making you paranoid. About every little crack, every little crumble you hear, every little noise in the game. Uh, now what I think the developer is trying to do is fix it so that you can only use creature vision when the creature is close. Uh, it's not supposed to use mana, mine still is. I've updated mine so I think it's a bug. But I think that will should be fixed in the next update, I'm sure. So that you will only get to use it when you are within 500 feet of... I swear to god I heard it following me. Said creature. My heart is beating. Palms are sweaty. My spaghetti. All that good stuff. It's gotta be around here. Can you mass spaghetti a werewolf with a silver saber? I guess we'll find out. I know we can mass spaghetti one. Well, we can at least spaghetti the shit out of one of them. I should probably go backwards to the cabin, I'll be honest. Um, down the road, I feel like that, that cabin idea or that compass idea, rather, is a skill that I would like. Well, I'm told, really, I should save up and get the Bounty Hunter one as soon as possible, and apparently it pays for itself, I don't know. I also feel like a boss monster is going to be smart enough to surround itself with a lesser monster, too. So... Maybe it goes around the same area as some of the undead go. I'm trying to listen to see if the heartbeat's speeding up. The faster the heartbeat, the closer I am to the same. Oh, you just wait, werewolf. I'm gonna go all Neil Green on you. And if you all don't know the brilliance of Neil Breen, then you, you must. Especially if you're fans of the room. You, you've, uh, this guy, Neil Breen, he just packs so much into one movie that it's, it's like everything in one movie. From 
metaphysical stuff to action to uh, attitude. Mind blowing, I'm telling you. Definitely the sort of thing you should, you must experience. You don't watch a Neil Green movie, you experience it. Right back to the game here. Now my senses are uh, a tingling. My evil sense, my heart's beating. I am personally feeling a little freaked out, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think this thing is literally messing with me. I'm not kidding you. I feel like... <laughs> at least my impression, if you will, that I get playing this game and the developer, I don't know if this is on purpose or not, I feel like it's watching me, this, this creature. Um, maybe waiting. Maybe seeing what I'm doing. So we're going to place my crucifix here. It's not the fastest my heart's beat, but I feel like I've been walking around the area at least for a while. And sooner or later the odds are not in my favor that I'm going to run across it. So if I need a safe point to run back to, I'd rather have one. Watch, I've literally just placed it right outside its its area. Yeah, that's effing great. But did I literally just place it right outside of its area, or did I just scare it off? These are big questions I need to know. Where's that fucking goat again? Piss off, goat. That goat is something bad, I'm telling you. I really believe double guilt there is bad news. I don't know if he... Uh, the rumor, anyway, which I don't know about, but I'm starting to believe, is that he only appears when a round boss, or a boss is around, and I would believe that. Only because twice now my heart's been going thumpity thump thump, and there's that damn double goat. I don't really want to slide down this, but I don't think I have a choice. I feel like he's possibly in the thick here. There's a main road. There's creepy music. I don't hear any growling now. I expected to hear growling or snarling or something a little more bestial. You know, I mean, I, this is supposed to be a, a werewolf. I'm not hearing any kind of werewolfy. No werewolfy sounds. Maybe auto tune me a howl or something. I'm hearing nothing. Well, that is pretty cool. Native American uh, totems there. I like that. Hold on. I don't know where that was. It's a healing plant, but I don't need it yet. Depending on the fight that I'm going to have, I may if I encounter fisticuffs with the werewolf food shit. I heard something now. Dude. Look all the way around you, pal. Look all the way around you. Son of a bitch. It's a whisper. I can't see it. Where is it? Is the creature near a whisper? Will be smart. It's almost like it's trying to cut me off. Yeah, no, there's a... I walked right into the damn whisper. Are you kidding me? Uh, now that my health is shot... I'm dying to see what this thing looks like, guys. I have enough mana to test it out. No, I don't. Can any of you see it? I'm genuinely annoyed by the fact that I cannot see this damn thing. Oh my god, she's fast, eh? 
Pizarro, baby. Pizarro. Damn it, Janet. Right. I need 50, man. I don't have no uh, She made me jump a little, I'm not gonna lie. Can we get to the creature? Can we see the creature? I need the dagger. Give me the dagger. If you all know what that's from, I'll be shocked. That would happen to be from an old movie. From Eddie Murphy. Called The Golden Child. Pretty funny, actually, if you haven't seen it. Weird movie, but pretty good. One of those kind of hybrid movies. Had a little action, a little humor. Where are you? Alright, so those noises are not it. Those noises are the undead. So we know that now. And I'm also still working with my theory that the creature itself hides around the undead. Which I think it does on purpose because there's strength in numbers and if you're a creature uh, who is trying to stay alive, why would you not have your goons do your grunt work and get rid of the pissants and peons and then you take out what's left and I think that's what's happened here is that it is waiting to tear me a new asshole when I least expect it. So first we're gonna, there is one, there's an undead right there. Come on, Chief. That's right, Papa does Kung Fu your ass. And that is what I was waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to get to the safety of this barn. Still nothing, really? Oh! I hit it! I hit it! With the cross! So now I know where it is. He's over there somewhere. Alright. Now I know. Alright, you fuzzy son of a bitch. I'm coming for you. I know what you're thinking. Bones. There's no heartbeat right now. Do you see how far away that lightning strike was? I think I've been deceived. He's not as close as I thought. He's much farther away. He's out that way. So we are going to traverse along this little pathway here until we get the heartbeat back and go get him. Oh shit. There's my cross. So he's got to be around there somewhere. Now, I don't know if there's blood on the ground, but if there's not, I feel like it would be a good idea to do. If I were the developer, I would like to see that done. I'm not going to lie, my heart is beating so hard in my chest that I feel like it's about to pop out. I wounded him. Sweet Jesus. Like, seriously, guys. I... Holy cow. I know I'm chilly because I have the air conditioning on. It's, it's hot as hell in Michigan right now, but... It is, uh, man... And I apologize if this video seems boring to you, because let me tell you, if you could feel my heart, this video would not be boring to you. I, I'm literally... My adrenaline is going crazy right now, looking for this thing. I feel like... It is going a million miles a minute. I will kill you, I will find you. I feel like I'm like the pro guy in Taken now. I will find you werewolf, and I will kill you. I have skills. 
a hunter like me a nightmare for uh, werewolves like you. <laughs> um, delirious. Um, this thing is gonna kill me. I know what's ex exactly what's gonna happen. This thing is gonna jump out of nowhere. Scared the holy shit out of me. I'm gonna go swing at it like an idiot. Miss. And get my ass handed to me. You, you, this is pretty much going to be my demise. Okay, but I still can't use the beast vision. So yes, I do think he needs to... I'm hoping he fixes that soon. Um... I will say, since I've had Witch Hunt on my computer, I actually have not taken it off my computer, so... That should at least tell you all that I've enjoyed the game, because I have. Uh, now... Are there other points of interest I can get to, maybe? I don't know. I know near the cabin, it seems to wander. For sure. Also, if you hear, you can hear that there's air coming from up here. And that's pretty cool, actually. Almost like a... Look it up in a cauldron? I found a effing cauldron. Literally like a witch's sabbath. Okay, now that's both creepy and, uh, and cool. No one dead up here, even though I hear them. They must be around here somewhere. I have struck the beast, at least. Um, but I don't know if I leave the area and come back. Does its health regenerate? Do I keep that? And there is a stone hedgy area down here. Now this, I remember seeing, I believe, I did a video where I ran across this area. I believe so. I may be wrong, but I believe I did. I believe this was in my last video. If not, then I will tell you all personally, this is not a new area to me. I've seen this Stonehenge type place before. Oh, shit. That is new. That was not here last time. That was not here last time, so... We want to get away from that. Well, that's something different, isn't it? Okay, apparently I cannot swim. For shit, so... Uh, okay, well, let's avoid stone with a pin, shall we? Oh, I no more Stonehenge for me. That was, uh, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, that... I could not find a healing plant now. That would have been good, eh? So, alright. We know Stonehenge is bad news now. There is now a poisonous attack plant there that was not there before. Maybe it was. I don't recall it being there, though. If it was, then I apologize to you all. I, I just personally... Uh, I do not remember it being there. I genuinely don't. What I'm looking for here is a clear-cut view of this creature I'm hunting. Something to give me... A tactical advantage where I can look down upon it. Not seeing that anywhere. So what I'm going to have to do, I suppose, is just try to either bum rush this sucker or hope for the best. There is yet another one of these creepy ass. I think it's the fact that I know it's out there. That makes the game scarier. Do you know what I mean? Lots of games will talk a big game and then give you a supposed creature to do with or you effing That's not what I wanted to say at all. <laughs> That's, not, That's not what I wanted to say, people. I wanted to ooh, I wanted to swear a lot worse than that. But we'll just call it that for now. The effing. Can I make it back to the cabin at least? 
which is downstream a bit. I don't know. I really don't. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Is that a different... Two bridges. Thank you. Um, no, I personally, I do not know. I'm just going for it. Flat out going for it. Come and get me. Where are you? Well, it got me. Walk, walk, walk. Alright, that's twice now I got my ass kicked in this game. Twice. Uh, so yeah. In short. Beware black goats. Please don't hurt them in real life. They're probably harmless and not satanic and evil. Um, however, in this, run my cow, because they're seen. Uh, also, beware the beast. Because you don't play around. Wherever he is. Wherever he is. But we know that now, don't we? I called him out. Not only did he answer my call, but he said, sure. And then I just got my ass handed to me horribly. We also know, from the sound of it, that he is... A beast who seems to like... A particular area. I wonder what would happen if I just shot him once. Reloaded and waited. One last experiment before I call this game an end. Will he come running at me? Can I get the beast to charge me? And I don't mean run. Waka waka. I feel like this is the safest spot that I could be right here to kill him. I do not see him in the woods, do I? Just wasting bullets at this point. Why? Because I'm trying to test something out here, which is the big question. Will the beast... Will the beast actively charge you if you peel off a round or two at it? Or will it not? I feel like that is a zombie up ahead there, clearly. I think so, anyway. Or is that a whisper? No, let's see. Both times I thought there was something else. It's not. I'm gonna hit this tree anyway, though, because I just, I just don't like the tree. Evil looking. Evil. I and mean, actually, this area is pretty creepy. I feel also like there are more areas that I could explore if I'm careful. That I could unlock to warp around. There are two, there are undoubtedly more than two. So it's a matter of finding those. Yeah, I really don't know what got me for sure. I think it was the beast, but I have no way of knowing. Do I have my beast vision back? I don't. That is just a pure run of the mill zombie. So the beast is back there. And that tells me two things. One, it tells me it moves a lot. Two, I can see a zombie right over there. Can you see it, guys? Right up there? So we're gonna go kill him going over here. That's the girl. I feel like she's faster than the guy is. It's not sexism. I'm just saying. I feel like she is. Like the guy is nowhere near as fast. So the beast is near 
this area. I will call this Big Rack Point. Oh, it's not spooky enough. How about Skull Rack Point? Near the River of Doom. And we will traverse down into the Valley of the Dead. And look around into the Witch Hunter's <laughs> Quarters. Jesus. This looks like every goth chick I've ever run across at 3 a.m. So I don't know how you goth women, but call it how I see it. I said at 3 a.m. though, but you know. Not by default, just saying. I just somehow still gonna get hate mail for that. Oh well. Okay, so, things to notice. I've somehow survived a lot longer this time than I thought I would. Two. Uh, this creature is actually a pain in the ass to find. Oh, okay. That's the... God, alright. No, 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 no. That's the whisper. I'm gonna get the hell away from him. And I died because I was trying to hit the sword. So, alright, that'll do it for me. Um, see, the undead don't often overwhelm me. That's why I picked that one skill I picked. The regeneration thing. But it's still slow to regenerate out. But anyway. So, I appreciate you all watching. I am Bones. Thank you guys. You all have a spooky evening. Be sure to do it. Continue watching our videos and we'll keep making them. So, subscribe, uh, like, post some good horror movies, your favorite horror movies down below if you don't mind. And you guys have a great evening. Thank you for watching.